I have one question for you. Do you love Pride and Prejudice? If the answer is yes, then you have to join me on my video because I'll be taking you to some of the 2005 Pride and Prejudice filming locations starring Matthew McFadden and Kira Knightley. Keep watching to find out more. Welcome back to another video. My name is Sophie from Third Eye Traveller and today I'm here at Stourhead House and Gardens, which is a 2005 Pride and Prejudice filming location. Now, as you can see behind me, we have the Temple of Apollo, which is where Lizzie runs up in the rain and then Mr. Darcy proposes to her although really badly of course there are some other filming locations here as well and so yeah let's go and have a look around Stourhead to see some of these amazing filming locations so yes, Jane Austen fans will no doubt recognise this monument from the incredible Pride and Prejudice movie starring Kira Knightley and Matthew McFadden. The landscape gardens of Stourhead are often referred to as a living work of art, with grand temples, gothic cottages and magical grottos surrounding a show-stopping lake, and towering over those gardens is the classic Temple of Apollo, which provides a breathtaking view of the entire estate. In the 2005 movie, this is the iconic location where the brooding Mr. Darcy first makes a botched proposal to Miss Elizabeth Bennet against his better judgment. And it may have been 15 years since the first Pride and Prejudice movie came out, but I'm still not over the amazing chemistry between Mr. Darcy and Lizzie Bennet. Although the 1995 TV version is great, I just feel that Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden were so good in bringing these famous Jane Austen characters to life, and I think I must have watched this movie a hundred times over. And Stourhead really gives you a chance to visit the place where that heated proposal scene took place, and you can live out your best Lizzie Bennet dreams. You can find the Temple of Apollo at Stourhead House and Gardens, which is a National Trust property. Entry prices are £20.90, which includes gift aid, or it's free for National Trust members. You can visit this temple and walk around it just like the actors did and you can even go inside it at certain times of day and this is even a wedding location if you really wanted to get married here as well. So let's talk about how to find it once you're inside. You can find the Temple of Apollo at Stourhead Lake and there'll be a sign for it points towards this amazing grotto. It's absolutely amazing and it almost looks like a fantasy world with all these moss covered rocks that leads you way up the steps. But yes, follow these steps and then you'll find a flat path with switchbacks that takes you to the very top. I will warn you now that this walk is quite steep and there are a lot of steps so make sure to take some strategic breaks on the way up. Uh, they have a few benches and places to perch if you need a a quick breather. Take your time and there's no need to rush and you can just enjoy the scenic views as you make your way up to the very top. You'll probably be glad that I put this video on mute otherwise you'll be hearing me huffing and puffing to get to the very top. <laughs> but persevere and then eventually you'll see the temple come up to view on the main pathway. I have to admit that when I first saw this temple I squealed. Honestly Pride and Prejudice is one of my favourite movies and so visiting the filming location where this proposal took place was just incredible. You can walk around the entire temple and see these incredible views over Stourhead Gardens and Lake. Honestly, even if you're not a Pride and Prejudice fan, coming up here is well worth your time as these are some of the best views that you can get on the entire estate. Horace Walpole described this view as one of the most picturesque in the world. And I have to agree with that. Unobstructed views here are just incredible. And in spring, you can see the world famous rhododendrons. And of course, if you are a Pride and Prejudice fan, you can recreate the scene if you wanted to or take some incredible photos and videos while you're here. But just be aware, if you're visiting in autumn, the crowd levels here can be quite high, so visit early in the morning or later for the best results. But let's have a look at some more of these Pride and Prejudice film locations at Stourhead. Now, when you make your way around the lake, you'll probably see this iconic Palladium Bridge where Lizzie ran over in the rain. Although it does look incredible, you can't walk over it like Lizzie did. They obviously had a special exception for filming. Although you can't walk over it, you can still admire it and get a picture near it. Beyond the Pride and Prejudice filming locations, there are many reasons why you should visit Stourhead House and Gardens. The lake has many grottos and temples that you can visit along your walk, and the largest of those is the Pantheon. And this was inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. This landscape garden was created 300 years ago by Henry Hoare II also known as Henry the Magnificent. He was inspired by artists like Claude Lorraine, Nicolas Poussin and Andrea Locatelli. And he built his gardens 300 years ago and a Palladian mansion called Stourhead House. His vision for these gardens was to create a living work of art by arranging trees, 
eye-catching temples and architectural features around a grand show-stopping lake. And visitors were invited to take in the scenery like they were viewing a gallery. So when you visit these temples, you'll see lots of Greco-Roman statues, paintings and reliefs which were fashionable for the time. Henry Hoare worked very closely with Henry Flickcroft to build many of these monuments that you see around the lake. Henry built the circular Temple of Apollo in 1765, and it was actually made to overshadow the Temple of the Sun at Kew Gardens, which was built by William Chambers. Heading on from the Pantheon, you'll find the incredible grotto. This grotto was made as a cool respite for those visitors who are visiting on warm days in their heavy linen clothes. But even today, I find visiting this grotto on a warm day is so nice when it's so hot outside. There are some beautiful statues in here, including a nymph, but the best part is the views you can get from the grotto itself. It can get quite slippy in here and wet, so always make sure to watch your step if it's a rainy day. Personally, my favourite part of the estate is this fairy tale gothic cottage which sits around the lakeside. This looks like something from a Grimm's fairy tale or a fantasy land. It just looks incredible. Although it does look like some witch's cottage in the wood from Hansel and Gretel, it's actually set up as a watch cottage for the estate staff. It was built in the mid 18th century and there were two servants living in here. They were elderly women who were known as alms women and then it was restored in 1900 by Lady Alda Hoare. Today it's a beautiful place to relax and you can even go inside. There's not much in here but the views you get from this fairy tale cottage are just incredible. Every time I visit this thatched cottage I feel like I've walked into a fairy tale and it's well worth visiting um, if you have the chance. There are also other temples here including the Temple of Flora, and you also have a boathouse, cascades and water wheel. But I thought I'd take some time to show you some of the amazing scenes that I store at Stourhead on my visit in autumn. Autumn is one of my favourite times to visit Stourhead as you, all the trees change into beautiful colours and they all look very different. Now although we did have a bout of storms and some of the leaves were blown away, I still thought that this scene was just absolutely spectacular. And because we had very little wind, the reflections were incredible incredible. So yes, although I do recommend visiting Stourhead because it's a Pride and Prejudice filming location, there is so much more to Stourhead that makes it worth visiting, you could honestly spend an entire day around this area. Just outside of the gardens, you can visit the historic St. Peter's Church. Now, although this wasn't a Pride and Prejudice film location, it's still beautiful. And after your walk, don't forget to warm up in the cosy Spread Eagle Inn in the courtyard. This pub was the perfect tonic after a very cold and chilly walk around the gardens, so we treated ourselves to a glass of wine and a bit of fruit cake. So yes, I had an amazing day visiting a filming location from one of my favourite movies of all time. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, please remember to subscribe for more magic. Thank you!